Psalm 77 verse 19. Love this psalm. Um, this particular verse. I'll read it from the uh, English Standard Version. It says here, Your way was through the sea, your path through the great waters, yet your footprints were unseen. Now, in the, in the Hebrew, your footprints were unknown. But with God, we can't see his footprints. We, can't, we don't have that certainty. We have the supernatural. We don't have natural with God. Right? We don't have the earth's certainty. We have him walking through the great waters and not leaving footprints. Mm. That is us. We have light inside us. Mm. We are not natural people. Mm. We don't have the limitations. We don't leave footprints because we are of the kingdom. Amen. We are saved. Now we can live like this if we want to. Mm. All right? But you will have to accept the limitations mm. that that brings mm. and the life that mm. comes from that. Mm. But if you live according to the light that is in you, mm. you walk in darkness and you won't stumble. Mm. You live in the supernatural. Mm. You have this kind of life informed by the supernatural. You are super natural. You are above nature. Mm -hmm. You are above limitation. Mm -hmm. You have this kind of experience. You don't respond to the things that are presented to you in the natural way. You don't talk back to God when circumstances come your way. You don't talk back to Him and say, Oh Lord, this is dangerous. I can't do this. Oh Lord, these circumstances are so bad. This is terrible. You know in yourself that you have the light. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know in yourself that you have supernatural. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you do what Jesus does. What did Jesus do about Lazarus? He'd already prayed about it before. He was relaxed about going back to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Even though they just previously tried to stone him. Mm -hmm. Jesus wasn't a fool. Mm -hmm. When they tried to stone him, he escaped and he withdrew. But then he was relaxed because he knew God the Father said to him, Lazarus, this thing's happening with Lazarus. Mm -hmm. Go back there, deal with it. Mm -hmm. Yes, Father. Blah, blah, blah. He prayed about it. He went back and he dealt with it. For a purpose. We live lives <coughs> of purpose. Mm -hmm. We are not just living our life. Mm -hmm. We are living lives of purpose. We are like God mm -hmm. in that respect. Mm -hmm. God always acts with purpose. Mm -hmm. It's not just random. Mm -hmm. We live a life of purpose. We need to find our calling in the church. God has given everyone the measure of faith. Mm. Okay? Mm. But he has also deposited gifts mm. and callings and offices. Mm. Can I ask you, do you know what yours is? If you know, that's great. Walk in it. If you don't know, you need to seek it. Mm -hmm. Because that is your purpose. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you are this mm -hmm. living a natural life. Mm -hmm. In church, yes. Absolutely. Saved, yes. Mm -hmm. But you're purposeless. Mm -hmm. 
you need to live a life of purpose. One of those purposes is coming to prayer. Okay. You cannot, we cannot diminish the importance of the prayer meeting. It is a corporate time. There is a powerhouse. It is a boiler house. It is a nuclear reactor for the church. We come together and something happens. The prayer meeting, when we couldn't, Jane and I used to pray like this. A church we were at, when we used to pray like this, they actually forbid us. They stopped us doing it. Because they, well, because they didn't like it. They liked this, the certainty, and they liked all kinds of other things. But they actually f banned us from praying like we pray. Mm. So we, we couldn't find anywhere in the city that prayed like we pray. We found it with friends in Germany when we went there once a year. We had a week or two weeks of time where we would just revel in the freedom of the prayer. We came here! Praise God! Amen. We found Amen. our prayer meeting here! Yes. Come Amen. to pray! Come on. You will have an experience mm. that is rare. Mm. Rare! Yes. In the city. Mm. In churches in the city. Mm. Born again, charismatic, mm. Pentecostal mm. churches in the city. Mm. It is rare mm. that you will have a prayer meeting like you have here. Oh, am, I, yes. am I preaching about advocating prayer? No. I am advocating and preaching that you must understand that you have light inside you. Mm. Yes. That you can walk in the darkness. Mm. That you make a difference. Mm. You are purposeful. Amen. Amen. You have light in yes. you. Mm. You can do these things. Mm. More on. than these things. Yes. Yes. You are not natural people. Mm. No. You are supernatural oh, people. Yeah. 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 Man. Mm. Bring it on. Jesus asked Martha, do you believe this? Mm. I ask you, do you believe this? I believe. Really? Yes. Really? Mm. Do you believe these mm. things in this word, in this Bible? Mm. Really? Or are you natural? Mm. Are you saved? Yeah, I, I, I think everybody in here is saved. Mm. But are you in this position? Mm. Really, do you believe what Jesus asked Martha? Mm. Do you believe this, mm. that I can do these things? Mm. Do you believe that you can come and pray about things and, and they will change? That you can change votes in the Houses of Parliament? Mm. You can change things in the local council, mm. in the schools? Mm. Do you believe that? Mm. <coughs> yes. Amen. Otherwise, you'll just come to a prayer meeting and you'll just m sit around and mumble. And, and, and not actually uh, think anything will change. Mm. Do you believe it? Really, do you believe it? There's something you should ask yourself. Do I believe what this Bible tells me I am? Do I have the certainty or hold on to the certainty of the 12 hours of light in this world? Or am I like... A, a drift in God, mm. in the in the spirit of God, mm. in the majesty of God, mm. under His kingship, mm. waiting for His Majesty to mm. say what's next. Mm. Just free mm. to say yes, Lord. Mm. I don't have to stick with a program mm. of my own determining. Mm. I am free in You. Mm. Whatever it's the Isaiah, Lord, here I am. Send me. Mm. Mm. It's like Jackie Pullinger. Mm. She, she felt a call to be mm. a missionary. Mm. And, and, and she wanted to go to Africa. And she went to her vicar. And her vicar said, look, you are hearing from God. Mm. Just do what it is. And, and she, she went and, and she, she, she took that. And God gave her a dream. Mm. And said, go to China. Mm. And she went there with £10 in her pocket. Mm. Mm. Right? She's an MBE now because what she did. She went out there and she got involved in the opium place. The place that was most dangerous. Mm. Kowloon province. Mm. 
She just went, I'm just a god. Mm -hmm. I'm free. Mm -hmm. I'm not a religious person. I am not holding on to certainty. Mm -hmm. I am free in God. I am supernatural. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of question you should ask yourself. Are you supernatural? Mm -hmm. Or are you natural? You can't say that you are supernatural if you are natural. Mm -hmm. And you can't say that you are natural if you are born again. You can act natural, but you aren't. Mm -hmm. You are not. Jesus says it. Look at Matthew, Look at John 17. Turn over a few pages. John 17, verse 14. And verse 16. Jesus says in his great prayer, <clears throat> and he's, he's praying about the disciples, about you and me, mm. he says it twice in this prayer. Amazing this, isn't it? I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of this world, mm. just as I mm. am not of this world. Mm. Amen. And he goes on to say in verse 16, They are not of this world, just as I am not of this world. Isn't that amazing about you? You are not of this world. Amen. You may think you are. You may look like you are. I tell you what, you come on to prayer on Tuesday, you know you're not of this world. Ah, we give it some welly on a Tuesday here. We give it some leather. We... With God, Tuesday. <laughs> you know you're not of this world. Mm. Amen. You you get in touch with something mm. corporately. There's something happens corporately. This isn't this isn't your private prayer at home kind of deal. That's different. That's just as valid. Mm. This I'm talking about. Mm. This kind of mentality. And I'm not. I seem to be banging on about prayer, but it's not about prayer. It's about you, about this light in you, this supernatural you. Mm. You are not of this world. Mm. You really aren't. Mm. You must grasp this. Mm. Yes. You are supernatural people. Mm. Look. Colossians 2.8. Let's have a look at Colossians 2.8. And I'll close with this. And, and we'll get into uh, the, the Lord's uh, Supper, the communion. Okay, Colossians 2.8. <clears throat> we are bitterly opposed by this world. You, you don't realise this often. The whole world system is against you and I. It is screaming opposition against us. Look at this. Colossians 2.8 See to it that no one takes you captive by philosophy and empty deceit according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the world and not according to Christ. Right? Lou, sorry, sulagogon is the Greek word there, which means to carry off the spoil. What happens after a battle? They carry off the spoil. Right? They capture, they take away the spoil. Right? How do they do that? Through philosophy, empty deceit, human tradition, elementary spirits of the world, this world, and not according to Christ. Now this verse implies that we have something. Or that we are something of worth. That is worth carrying off mm. and taking away mm. as a spoil after a battle. Mm. 
But what is the operative part of this? It's the first three words. The first three words. See to it. Mm. This isn't something that God will do. This is not something that Jesus will just overlay on you and, and just do you, do for you. This is you and I. See to it. You do this. And what do we do? We see to it that we are not carried off like some trophy after a battle. Like some spoil. Through philosophy, empty deceit, human tradition. The world is screaming this kind of thing at us. Don't you think that fashion is the most bizarre thing ever? Human fashion that changes all the time according to markets mm. and, and tastes and what people dictate, mm. what cultural things that come and go, waves of, of this type of dress, mm. this type of acting. This, it's bizarre. By rights, I should be wearing a big, tall hat to be in the, in the pulpit preaching, yeah, according to the 16th and 17th century. I should, uh, I mean, in, in the 1970s, we had flares, didn't we? Flares, bell bottoms, okay? <laughs> a big collar, round collars. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, isn't it? We wouldn't be seen dead in that. <laughs> But that's the light of this world. That's the thing that is screaming at us. To push us in a certain direction. To take a hold of us. To make us this. Natural. But we are not. We are supernatural. And we have to see to it. That we are not taken captive. That we know and retain the light that is in us. Well we operate and work by that. We live by that, mm. right? Otherwise we are failing in our lives. We are limited. Mm. We are walking naturally like a natural man. Mm. Yes. And we're getting involved in all kinds of problems in life. Mm. We have to see to it. Wow. So now we come to the Lord's table.